OMG. Welcome back to my channel. So excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn and I'm outside of the Kroger. I am bringing you a weekend rebate haul, which like I never ever do that. Uh, but there was some amazing things happening at the Kroger that I had to run out and grab and I definitely wanted to share it with you in case you want to take advantage of this. If you're new and you just found me, so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you. Definitely feel free to leave me a hello. I would love to say hello to you as well. So I am here to do rebate shopping. It's sad. It's Sunday morning right now when I'm filming this intro, but I came Saturday night and it's all thanks to uh, Saving with Shay. She posted a video and she shared some uh, G words that were happening over at the Kroger. She has a Kroger affiliate. So um, I have regular Kroger, but there are lots of different Kroger affiliates. And so I wanted to check and see if they were working for me at a regular Kroger versus a Kroger affiliate. And they were just fantastic deals. My husband has a weekend warrior of $5 for 15 offers, which I hadn't even started. I had no plans of doing it, but she got my butt out to the Kroger uh, on Saturday evening. So I definitely want to share what's happening with you. And I will tell you, I did also discover myself by testing something, another G word, which was awesome. Uh, so you're seeing two videos from me in one day because I'm going to post this one. I was going to combine it with my Walgreens video, but it just probably would have been way too long of a video. So I'm just separating it. I know not everybody has Kroger or Kroger. Kroger affiliates, but if you do, um, G words can go away at any time. So I definitely wanted to share this with you sooner rather than later. So I'm posting two videos in one day. So we're going to run in. I'm going to explain to you what's going on. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Let's go grab some awesome deals. All right, we are in the Kroger. It's Saturday evening around like 8 p.m. Uh, and after I saw Shay's video, I decided to come here. First thing I'm going to do is Rockstar. Um, so there is an aisle rebate for Rockstar for $5 back when you buy two. They are on sale at Kroger, buy one, get one free. And they're priced at $2.69. So that's going to be a nice little moneymaker. Somebody did tell me that Dollar Tree sells them. So they'd be $2.50 and then you get back five. They were, of course, way high up, and I could hardly grab any, so then I had to, <laughs> to get something to help me push more forward. But I'm going to do these all in separate transactions. Now, the aisle rebate, you can do once every two weeks. So once every other week, you can do it and get back the five. If you share your referral link and somebody uses it, then you get, like, another redemption, and I did this at Walmart on Thursday, and a bunch of you used my link. Thank you so very much. So um, you can only do two per transaction, buy two per transaction. So that's why I'm separating them, and they each set will be a $2.31 moneymaker. All right, now let's get on to the glitches. So uh, I have a cat. I buy cat food all the time. We don't get deals on cat food all that often, so I'm going to test this out and see if it works on the fancy feast. The petites, they're $1.29 each for the singles. And these are the exact same flavor that Shea bought. So that's what I'm sticking with. There is this $2.50, I bought a rebate that when you scan your receipt, it's picking it up. Now, if you scan this product in store, the barcode, it's not gonna show you that there's any rebate. That's why it's a glitch. So when you scan your receipt, it picks up the two dollar and fifty cent rebate. So these will cost me three eighty seven for the three of them. If it works, then these will be a three dollar and sixty three cent money maker. This is actually the exact cat food that I buy for Tom. He likes a couple of different kinds, but he likes the fancy feast petite. So if it doesn't work, I'm not sad. I would have bought it anyway. And because I know Tom likes this cat food, I'm probably just going to grab three more as well, put them in a receipt with two of the rock stars. I'm working on my husband's Ibotta right now, but I'll just scan that receipt to my Ibotta 
whether it picks it up or not, like I said, I'll be grateful either way. I would have bought this anyways. Okay, here's the next one I saw on Shay's channel. It is the Blue Buffalo Tasteful Cat Food. It has to be the chicken pate is what she said. They are $1.79 each. And when you scan your receipt to Ibotta, it is picking up this $3 rebate that is a limit of five. I also have a Fetch Rewards rebate on this for $1.50 back when I buy four. And then I have a coupon reimbursement over on Shopmium for a dollar back when I buy four. If all of that goes through, these five tastefuls will be an $8.55 moneymaker. So since all these singles, well, the Fancy Feast Petites and the tastefuls and the chicken were attaching to different rebates when you scan your receipt, I thought I would go ahead and test um, a couple more things. One is the Sheba. Tom likes these as well. Uh, these are $1.25 each, but we do have a um, five-time digital coupon that'll take 50 cents off. So they're gonna be 75 cents each. So I'm gonna grab four of them. That's gonna cost me $3. I have this rebate on Ibotta for a dollar back when I buy four, but I also have this rebate on the multi-packs for $3 back. I wanna see if it picks that one up instead. I also have a Fetch Rewards rebate for a dollar back when I purchase four of the Sheba Perfect portion. So if no Ibotta glitch happens, these four are gonna cost me a dollar, which I'm perfectly great with. If the Ibotta glitch happens, these, are, these four are gonna be a $4 moneymaker. The $3 multi-pack is a limit of two rebates. So I'm also gonna test out this Caesar dog food. Again, another weekly digital coupon deal. Now I have to do this on my Ibotta because my husband's Ibotta does not have this rebate. We actually both have different rebates for Caesar, but I'm going to grab three of the Caesar dog food for 83 cents each. So that will total me $2.49 for these three. I have this $3 multi-pack rebate with a limit of two if it picks it up, it would make these a 351 moneymaker. Now I'm gonna scan my receipt to my Ibotta. If it does not pick it up, my husband Zibata actually has a $2 back when you buy three of these. So at least I'll get a rebate on them. And that's why I'm grabbing three of them because the other limit is two on the, the multi-pack. So anyways, since I'm getting very close to hitting my weekend warrior, I'm just going to do, and I should have some nice money makers if everything works, um, I'm going to grab some other rebates of things that we like, which one of them is the flip. Every dang product I want to get today is like way up high. Look at this. I'm grabbing something to help me reach every product almost, except for the dog food, I think. <laughs> and I was like opening up these whoppers, which I didn't mean to. Anyways, the Flips White Fudge, we love them. They are on sale for $3.69 and I have a dollar rebate over on Ibotta. So I'll get $2 back. And because my Ibotta counts multiples, that'll give me two more rebates towards my Weekend Warrior. They're on sale for $3.49, not $3.69. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that little clip of me struggling. <laughs> <laughs> my short body cannot reach the top shelves. All right, and then I found these in checkout. My store was basically sold out of every flavor except for these. These Mentos are on sale, two for $4. I have a rebate over on Ibotta for 50 cents back for each. And then I do have a rebate over on Shopkick for a dollar back on one of them. It wasn't recognizing the product though when I tried to do the scan. Um, kicks, but I'm going to submit my receipt and see if I get it. All right, so I'm separating this into four separate transactions. If everything works, I might run back to Kroger in the morning and pick up a couple more things and pretty much everything worked. Although I do have some things to explain to you at the kitchen table, so make sure you stay tuned to the debrief. So these tastefuls did pick up, so I'm going to go ahead and just grab five more and submit it to my Ibotta because I did everything almost on my husband's Ibotta last night. So again, these are $1.79 each. Ibotta is picking up this $3 rebate, which would make these, and I have another coupon reimbursement on 
another shop ma'am and the i have a fetch rewards rebate on my husband's fetch for this one it's a dollar back when i buy four so a little over an eight dollar money maker again for these if it works today all right last night when i submitted my receipt the sheba did work for the three dollar rebate versus the one dollar back for four so i'm gonna go ahead and repeat this on my ibotta Again, just grabbing four of these single ones. Now the digital coupon can be used again. Um, it says you can unclip it, but it can be used again. So again, I'll get these for 75 cents each. Um, and then hopefully my Ibotta picks up the $3 rebate, which is gonna be a limit of two. And then my husband also has a dollar back on fetch when you buy four of these Sheba Perfect portions. Now this one worked out a little bit different than my one from yesterday. So again, I will go over all of that with you at the kitchen table. And then I just went ahead and grabbed two more rock stars um, since I've got some of those referral credits still from you guys using my link. Thank you again so very much. Um, and these will be a little $2 and 30 some cent money maker. All right, let's head to the kitchen table and go over all of the stuff from Kroger. All right, we are back at the kitchen table with this Kroger haul. There is Clarky over there yawning. Uh, and Donna Jean's over there playing a game. Can we get a woo? Woo! <laughs> we got a very faint Donna Jean woo. Okay, so a couple of things. Um, I already told you in the store that I was submitting a couple. I did the fancy feast twice because I would buy that anyway. So submitting one to my husband's, I bought a for his um, weekend bonus, submitting one to my Ibotta for just to see if it worked. Um, grabbed a bunch of the rock stars and then the Caesar. I had the rebate on my Ibotta. My husband did not. I often get questions. My husband and I each have our own Ibotta. We also each have our own PayPal. Um, I don't mix things in together. That's totally up to you. You can actually list a secondary email on PayPal. So you could have one Ibotta for you and one for your spouse with the secondary email. They would both go to the same PayPal. I have no idea if that causes any issues because I've never done it. We have everything separated. Um, so those were the couple things. Now, when I scanned um, receipts, they were all different, meaning the Fancy Feast on one receipt, it picked up two. On the other receipt, when I su submitted two Ibotta to my Ibotta, it picked up three. So the quantity that it's gonna pick up is the quantity that it's going to pick up. You can't correct your receipt because then what are you gonna scan? These, these don't match the rebate. Um, now I will tell you when the rebate actually processed, it did give me quantity three on both of them. Now, when I scanned mine to my receipt uh, or to my Ibotta, they went through very quickly. When I scanned to my husband's Ibotta, um, it said pending 48 hours. And I was like, oh crap, these are not gonna go through. Well, I did this, I don't know, I scanned the receipt about 8.30 last night. Um, by 11 o'clock, they both went through. So. And then I did have a different kind of issue with my receipt today that I did. So let's just take a look at these receipts and then I'll share with you everything I got back. So again, just did different receipts for everything. This was the one I was doing, the Caesar dog food. If it did not pick up on my Ibotta, then I was going to submit it to my husband's Ibotta because he had a rebate for $2 back when you buy three of those size. I had the rebate of $3 back on the multi-pack with a limit of two. So $5.54 was what I paid. Then this was the one where I did the fancy feast um, for mine. $6.99 is what I paid. Then this was one of them with the Rockstar, the Blue Buffalo cat food, and the Sheba. $15.56 is what I paid. Then I did this one where um, it was the fancy feast for my husband's Ibotta with the Mentos and the flips. So $17.97 was what I paid. And then this morning, this was the one I did with the Rockstar, the Sheba, and the Blue Buffalo. $15.56 is what I paid. So I paid a total of $59.57 for all of this stuff. If you need cat food, 
uh, then, you know, you might as well try it anyways. If you don't need cat food, again, glitches are never guaranteed. So you might want to try it. You might not. If you can donate them and you feel good about that and um, you want to try it, great. You could return the products if it doesn't work. And if you're one of those people that just does not participate in any glitches, then this just isn't going to be a deal for you. So, Again, my Ibotta rebates processed very quickly. Now, I only got back one $3 rebate on the Caesar, not two, which I was fine with that. It processed, it gave me $3. Um, it processed my fancy feast when I scanned my receipt and it said it picked up three and it gave me three. Then I scanned the receipts to my husband's and what it did was it picked up if I have the screenshot of it, I'll try to pop it up on the screen. The Tastefuls, I want to say it picked up that it maybe three or four. It did not pick up five. Um, and the Sheba, it picked up one. It didn't pick up the dollar for buying four. It picked up three dollars one time. When the receipt actually processed, like I said, about 11 o'clock last night, it gave me credit for five $3 for the Tasteful and two $3 on the Sheba. And then when I scanned the receipt um, to my husband's, I bought it for the fancy feast with the rest of the stuff. I think it picked up one or two of the fancy feast. It did not pick up three, but when it processed, it get, did give me credit for all three of those. And then my receipt today... I scanned the receipt and all it picked up when I scanned my receipt was four of the tastefuls. It didn't pick up anything under Sheba. And I was like, oh, I don't really want to correct this receipt. Like, what do I do? And you know what I did is I X'd out of it and I just went back. I didn't process the actual rebates. I took another picture of my receipt. I went back in first and made sure I had the Sheba rebate clipped. And then I took and I did. I took another picture, but I made it a little bit closer this time. And that time it picked up four of the Tastefuls, not five, four, and two of the Sheba. So I submitted that one. It, again, this time it for my I bought it, it said it was pending for 48 hours. And I was like, okay, maybe I'm not going to get it. It did process within like an hour. And I ended up getting five, it processed five of the tastefuls, but only one of the Shiva, which again, totally fine with all of that. So let's talk about these final numbers. So I paid $59.57 $59 for all of this stuff. Um, Ibotta, I got back on my husband's Ibotta, $21 and $10.50. On my Ibotta, I got back $3 for the Caesar and then $7.50 for the Fanciful and then, or the Fancy Feast. And then today I got back $18 for this receipt. Um, submitting for all of the rock stars. So that's $5 for each set, which is $25. Now I submitted two receipts. Well, I submitted four receipts last night. Two of them went through immediately set out the money was on the way the other two said we've got your receipt give us 24 hours same thing happened with this one so those two three of them have not processed yet but i'm certain they will i ended up getting back a total of four dollars and fifty cents from fetch rewards i had to correct my receipt on every single one it only picked up a couple of the tastefuls not all five of them and the Sheba, the receipt just says Sheba. It doesn't say perfect portion, so I had to scan all of those, but they all came back. Submitted to my shop meum for a dollar back for buying four of the tastefuls. Submitted to my husband's shop meum for a dollar back for buying four of the tastefuls. And then I did submit to Shopkick for the Mentos, and that did go through for a dollar back. So I ended up earning, let's see, that is... $50.50. No, that's not right. <laughs> hey, God, I earned back. $42, $32.50 plus $18. Let me add this up. Sorry, I thought I was more prepared than this. Uh, calculator. All right, so I got... 42 plus 18, which was $60 for my Bada, 
and then everything else with the Rockstar and everything was another $32.50. So I earned back $92.50 from this haul, OMG, where I paid $59.57. It was a $32.93 moneymaker. Oh my goodness. So again, the Caesar only picked up one $3 rebate. And this one, even though it, when I scanned my receipt the second time, it did pick up two of the Shiba rebates, but once it final credited, it only gave me credit for one. But when I scanned my receipt, it only picked up four and gave me five of those. So you just never know what's going to happen. But if you have a Kroger or a Kroger affiliate, you might want to go try one of these deals. It was absolutely amazing. A 32 dang dollar moneymaker, almost a $33 moneymaker, $32.93. So I definitely wanted to share all of this with you. Um, I hope you can take advantage if you have these stores in your area. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. I'm going to see you uh, with a Walgreens video. If you shop at Walgreens, I'll be posting that uh, in a couple hours. All right. Have a great day. Bye.